Hi everyone, it's Shelly Zurich from Still Blonde After All These Years. Today, instead of Fancy Food Sunday, we're doing Fancy Food Thursday because I'm so backed up, I've been sent so many great things, and so I'm going to do a special version to try to uh, get caught up and get you up to speed on all the neat stuff that I saw at the Fancy Food Show in the end of June. Okay, so uh, just want a, a quick note. Um, many of these things we were sent, and if I was sent these items, I'll try to let you know, but I'll always put it in the uh, comment section down below, you know, in the description of the video. And if I bought them, I'll try to let you know that too. All the links will be down below, so all those things you'll know and I'll know. Okay, so we're going to start out with, these are Montmorency Cherry. They're dipped into dark chocolate and they're from Stone Ridge Orchards. Now, uh, they call these premium whole fruit and they're 70% cocoa. They're from Washington State. They're all natural and they take the cherries and they dry them slightly. They are about 170 calories for a quarter cup. So I wanted to show you what they look like. They very much look like a raisinette. Okay, uh, slightly bigger. They're very, very good. Cherries themselves are sour uh, with a little tang of sweet and the chocolate is dark chocolate, 70% cocoa. So um, you can't go wrong with these. I'd, I'd recommend these. And we picked these up, no, we were sent these. Yeah, uh, we were sent these and so, um, we definitely enjoyed those and would recommend them. Now the next thing are Janice and Melanie Key Lime Cookies. These we picked up at the show just walking by a booth. They're naturally flavored Key Lime Cookies. They're very tart and yet sweet. There's no preservatives and they have zero grams of trans fat. Let's see, for five cookies, 130 calories. And I just wanted to show you what they look like. They're kind of um, you know just a little kind of shortbread bite perhaps covered in powdered sugar um, I find them very wonderful and a uh, nice thing right after dinner they're so small you can just eat one or two <laughs> but um, you know definitely at five cookies for 130 calories if you eat one or two it's just a nice treat without being really high in calories I, I, I think you'd enjoy these so I am glad I picked these up at the show. Now the next thing we're going to take a look at is Safe Catch Tuna. Um, it's a white albacore tuna and what it has going for it is it's dolphin safe, pull and troll caught, it is mercury tested, BPA free, additive free, and it has more omega-3 and it's not been pre-cooked. So that is um, a really good tuna. Uh, we had it on our salad. Salad when we first tried it, uh, we picked this up at the show. We sampled it. We talked to the owner. He was very passionate. So I always love to see that. Um, but he, um, you know, talked about the goodness of it. But when it comes down to me, you can have all that. But if it doesn't taste good, then I don't care. And this tuna was very fresh tasting. It just had this amazing. Oh my goodness, I want to have that um, on my salad all the time. So I would rec recommend Safe Catch Wild Albacore Tuna. Some things I don't know where to buy, where you buy them, um, but I'm going to try to put the links down below, like I said, and so that should help you find these particular things if they interest you. Now the next thing we have is very interesting. Um, this is called Dinner Tonight black bean tortilla chili and it's a mix and this was the cutest thing ever because I actually walked up to talk to this gentleman's wife and she showed us her uh, different things and then he seemed to be standing off in a in a corner all by himself with just you know a couple little things and you know I decided oh I'm going to talk to this guy and and so I said to him you know what are you are you helping your wife here at the show and he says well no I actually have my own product it's a Sophie winner and I'm like a Sophie winner like the gold Sophie and what you have to understand about the Sophie award is chosen out of 3200 products and it is um, vetted and tasted by a number of people and so what they did is they took and they put this into a 
you know, a preparation, like for instance, I made it and the suggested uh, recipe is on the back. Uh, you make it with chicken breast, so it's a chicken breast chili. I suppose you could substitute any kind of meat. And it's um, got corn and uh, beans, black beans, and so it's a very uh, Latino, uh, Hispanic, Mexican-based chili. Um, but oh my goodness, so delicious, so, so, so delicious. And um, and he, he won a gold Sophie for it. Now there is a number of finalists who are chosen and from there the gold award winners are chosen. And this little unassuming guy, um, his, his product was one of the, I believe, 26 Sophies awarded this year from 3,200 entries. Um, so I, I just think that's amazing. And that's 3,200 entries. The number of foods at the show were in the tens of thousands. So um, this, you better find and you better try. Um, once again, I don't know what it retails for, but I'll try to link all that below. All right, now these next two items, I'm gonna show them to you in tandem. But obviously they are um, two totally different snack foods. But to me, they involve cheese, and cheese is all I care about, pretty much, in life. Well, okay, uh, food-wise, anyway. <laughs> so first of all, I'll talk about Mr. Cheese O's. They're crunchy, real cheese snacks, and they are featured as being on-the-go high protein. Now you're saying, whoa, wait a minute, how can a you know chippy kind of snack be high protein? But this one serving of this, which is 20 pieces of these O's, I'll open that up so you can see what those look like, um, 20 pieces give you 10 grams of protein. That's a lot of protein in a, in a, in a snack. Um, so they kind of remind you maybe a bit of, of, of cereal, um, like a big, um, you know, crunchy saucer almost, but, but really they're delicious. And they come in a variety of flavors. Um, this particular one is Tuscan herb, but they have, um, I tr also tried French onion. I believe there was like a kind of a cheddar cheddar. They're all cheesy, obviously, but, um, and they even feature them as crunchy, real cheese snacks. Um, you can get 23% of your daily calcium from these, and there are no artificial hormones in here. So this is a very neat snack, um, and I'd recommend it. Okay, now the next one was, pro uh, sorry, I dropped it on the floor. I'm still here. <laughs> okay. Um, it's live, so all the live stuff is going to come with this. This is probably one of my top five choices from the show. Uh, absolutely, hands down, love this. And I will seek it out if I cannot find it at a local store because it is phenomenal. It's called Moon Cheese. Moon Cheese is um, made from 100% cheese. That's it. You can even see it at the top. The ingredients say just cheese. And basically what happens is they run it down a dehydration uh, belt. Uh, the guy showed me the production. It was incredible. And he was so excited to show it to me. But uh, he, they run it down a line for 85 minutes getting dehydrated. In the last five minutes, they raise it up to a very high temperature and it puffs. And it's kind of hard to understand what exactly it is that you're eating, but this is just a piece of cheddar cheese that is crunchy and puffed. Now, you might think you're looking at cheese, but you're actually looking at a crunchy cheese snack. And um, for a cheese addict, I can't even tell you how divine these are. They're just so good. Um, they are also high in protein, all natural, gluten-free, and an excellent source of calcium. Now, when they say excellent source of calcium, 15% of your daily uh, allowance and five grams of protein. Now, remember, these ones were 10 grams, which is amazing. And I didn't mention these are made with quinoa. However, back to these, the moon cheese, which I think is a brilliant name. Um, uh, truly one of my favorites from the whole show. Um, just delicious. Okay, so the next item 
that I'm going to be showing you today is Leonardo's pizza sauce. Okay, they sent me this before the show, and I did make the pizza with it before the show, but I just didn't have time to review it. So Leonardo's comes in Chipotle. I don't know if I, I always screw that up, so I hope I said it right. Original, Asiago, which I already ate, and garlic. Now what's unique about Leonardo's is there's very few uh, flavored pizza sauces out there. And so the, this was developed over 25 years um, from an owner who owned a pizzeria. And what his claim to fame was, was these flavored pizza sauces. This particular product was named the Gourmet Retailer's Top 25 New and Notable at Expo West, which I guess is another food show. Personally, we tried it on a, a flat out uh, crust and put that on there and then put our toppings on that we usually love. I can say that Leonardo's pizza sauce is a pizza sauce I'd recommend. We didn't find it overpowering, but it definitely tasted with the flavor that it said it was. We haven't tried the chipotle or the garlic, but the original and the Asiago were delicious. I, I think being a premium pizza sauce along with having the flavor in there is kind of a unique thing and I'd encourage you to try it. It's different. It's not the same old, same old. And we always like that. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is jam it. Oh my goodness, guys. This is called seasonal whole fruit. And it's really kind of like a jam, and, well, they call it a jam or a jamalade, like a marmalade. Um, and they are unique flavors because they... Uh, have a fruit flavor, often a spice flavor, and then an alcohol flavor. So this is the first one I tried, Cherry Clove Cabernet. And I tried it on um, some very good artisanal bread, and I loved it, and it was delicious. Very good. Now, I was a little hesitant to try some of the other flavors, so I forced myself to try this next one. Um, this is Blackberry Star... Um, I don't know how you say this, if you say it anise or uh, anise and mer uh, merlot. Now, I know what this is. This is, has a, this is the, the spice that gives you licorice uh, flavor. And so um, imagine blackberry, licorice, merlot mixed together. Um, Walt loved it. He likes licorice. I liked it. I could eat it. It wasn't my favorite. However, the richness and thickness of the jam was, once again, not disappointing. Some other fun flavors are Orange Hatch Vodka Jamalade, Blueberry Balsamic Black Pepper, Strawberry Chili Shiraz. Can't wait to try this one. That looks amazing. We also took a, a couple of flavors up to Walt's parents for them to try. Um, and these were some of the most unusual of all. Let me see if I, oh, lemon dill gin jamalade. Now, I can't wait to hear their reaction of that one. And then um, peach thyme presco. So, uh, prose prose prosecco. So, you know, it's a very unique uh, jam, but since I started trying jams where they combine fruit and then um, a, a, a spice like thyme or um, sage or I, I've fallen in love with them and I actually prefer them so when I got these I was very excited to try them the interesting um, thing here too is is they say their their slogan is it's jelly it's not jelly their slogan is it's not jelly it's jam it damn it and um, I think what they're trying to say is it's very out there uh, very in your face and it's something you should try because it's different. It's a different category of jam. I would recommend it definitely for trying. And a couple of the flavors I would buy again. Okay, now uh, the next one, the ninth thing we're showing to you today was just a little sample package I picked up at the show. Um, they're called Cosmo Creations Coconut Crunch. This particular flavor is coconut. Coconut was everywhere at the show. Um, you just coconut, coconut, coconut. And that's fine with me because I loved it. Um, and I think it's a wonderful flavoring. This particular thing I've hidden. Um, I think we got three or four of these. I did not share them with Walt. I'm a bad person, I know. Uh, 
but they were delicious. Once again, top five. As soon as I find this, I will buy it. I'm hoping that it goes to Costco so I can get a big mammoth bag. Um, I'll probably have to size up in clothing because it's just that good. Uh, I actually have a recipe on my blog that's called um, Super Bowl Caramel Corn Crunch. And it's one of my, it, it is, the most visited uh, page on my blog. I'll link that down below. And it is um, really, really good. This reminds me of that, but with a coconut flavor. If I could figure out how to get coconut into that recipe, I'd make it again. I guess I'll have to experiment, but this is that. Uh, something you should know about it is it is gluten-free, it's non-GMO corn, and there's no hulls or kernels on the corn. The corn is just puffed. It comes in a variety of other flavors, salted caramel, caramel, apple crisp, sea salt, and butter, and spicy uh, sriracha. Now, I would... I would go for this one. The other flavors, yeah, yeah, okay, so what? But <laughs> the coconut was just so good, I wouldn't try anything else. All right, so now we're on to our final, our final thing of the, of, for today's fancy food show show. These are from Osiri Bakery. Now, Osiri sent these to us before the show. Didn't really get a chance to try them. So I actually tried them at the show. These are called Morning Rounds, and this is called Sliced Square Sandwich Buns. These are two new products for them. Morning Rounds is actually looking to almost create a new breakfast category, like bagels are, or like English muffins are. Well, this is a Morning Round. And what it is, is it's a flat, uh, almost pita-like, but because of what it's made out of, it's not and you just pop that in the toaster. It comes in, in various different flavors. This particular one is muesli, and I think I had an apple one. Let's see if they list any of the other. No, no, but it is free of artificial preservatives, five grams of protein, contains whole grain, and it's vegan. So I get questions all the time. Can you please show us some vegan things? So this from Osri Bakery, and also these sandwich thins are vegan. Now, what I want to say is, these morning rounds, I could take them or leave them, but Wall really likes them. Um, they're, they're fine, mm -hmm. it's just not remarkable. However, these from Osiri Bakery, they're called One Bun Sliced Square Sandwich Buns. Mm -hmm. They are outstanding. They're supposed to be serving a hamburger or Sloppy Joe's or, you know, uh, pulled pork. And Walt did use them that way for tuna fish and things like that. However, I love them in the morning. To me, this is the perfect, you know, bust it open, um, eat, eat two pieces, maybe put a little jam on it kind of thing, or use it for a breakfast sandwich. So these are a huge hit with me. Huge, huge, huge. I love them. They're actually, um, I don't love the shape. I, I just took these out of the freezer, so I can't fully show them to you, I'm busting them open. But you can see where it splits right here. If you see these in the store, I would really recommend buying them. They're absolutely delicious. They just give you such a satisfying feeling compared to regular sandwich rolls. So that's it for today. We had quite a, a chore getting to this stage. I'm still not happy with the way it's filming. I'm, I'm still looking, uh, what, I, what I'm frustrated with is, is I'm, I'm filming this for Facebook Live. Uh, when I repurpose it for YouTube, I'll be able to drop in some more photos. That's one thing about Facebook Live you can't do. Um, if they would let me film from my computer, I could easily uh, uh, flip back and forth. Um, I think there are some accounts that are allowed to film from the computer, but not, not my PC yet anyway, or my account, I'm not sure which it is. You know, that's one thing about Facebook Live that I'd improve. YouTube is wonderful because I can now go back and edit and put that in, but then again, it's not live. So there's there's advantages and disadvantages to both. Just in regards to what I'm wearing today, this particular lipstick is called Body of Royalty. If you go to their website to take a look at the different colors, it's, it's, it's very out there, very young, youthful, cutting edge, so be warned. But the lipstick is wonderful. I have several different...
shades and this particular one is called Soul Work. It's one of my favorite lipsticks so I would recommend Body of Royalty if you find that in your a local store. I am wearing a crochet shrug today from Monroe and Maine. Uh, this is an old necklace that I have and underneath it I have an adorable fresh produce camisole with it has lace on the edges. I'd highly recommend both of these pieces and I believe that they're still available on both the sites and if they are I will link them down below. So this is Shelly Zurich from Still Blonde After All These Years just saying thanks for tuning in today. Uh, if you ever have any questions or there is anything that you'd like to see featured or hear me comment on, just let me know. Um, if you're a company, feel free to contact us via email to let us know what of your products you'd like to feature. Until next time, thanks a lot. Give this uh, video a like or a thumbs up if you're watching it on YouTube. Later on, we'll link the blog article that has all the details e even, even further, but each product, the Facebook Live, the YouTube, and the blog post will have all the details. Thank you for turning in today and I hope you enjoyed the video.